Hello everyone and welcome to another Payday 3 video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to complete No Rest for the Wicked, which is the first heist on the game. I'm going to show you how to get all of the loot bags on this mission while doing it stealth. We're going to be doing it on hard as well. This technique is fine for hard and normal. You can do it very early in the game. In fact, as soon as you start playing. I'll be looking at doing it for the harder difficulties as well for very hard and overkill later on as I get further in the game. I'm not quite ready for that yet. But I thought this would be helpful to get out now regardless. Before we do start this, if you're very new to the game, before you go into this, just go to your loadout, go to your secondary weapon, and you're able to customize it, you'll have access to this silencer. Make sure you're putting that on your sidearm. Now, I am going to show you how to do this solo today. I'm on my own, but I do highly recommend taking at least another player with you, a friend, because when you get to the vault at the end, the cash does have traps on it. And if you don't disarm all the traps, some of the cash gets spoiled. They're still worth some value, but you will lose some money when they get spoiled. And when you're solo, you simply do not have enough time to get all of the traps disarmed, as you'll find out later in this video. So again, we are playing this on hard. This will have a few extra bits to do than if you're doing it on normal. But with this mission, to be fair, if you're doing it stealth, it's very, very similar. And I'll try and uh, let you know as we go if there's anything different that's on normal. Regardless, whatever difficulty you do, there's going to be things in different places every single time you play. It could be rooms, cameras. So... It just can be different for you. I'll again explain as we go. Head into the bank to start this off though. And what we need to do is get the power off to this door here. And to do this, the cable leads through to this door, which we need to lockpick. It can be a little bit tricky. There's a lot of civilians and guards in this area. You can see a guard over there, civilian there. Just interact and go and lockpick. If anyone spots you, just come straight back out of it. It's space on PC. I'm not sure what it is on controller. And then just try again until no one can see you doing it. Someone can see me doing it again, though. It's actually that guard over there under the camera. So I have to wait for him to move. There you go. He's moving out the way now. Hopefully, he'll look away from me. And we can get this door locked pick. With that done, we can open it. And we can move inside. And what we want to do, we can hide here if we need to. But we just want to interact with this switch. That's turned the power off. And now we're ready to continue. And we can run around to this door over here. Now, on hard, you've got to lockpick this door. It'll just open on normal. Again, you don't want anything to see you. I think we're good. Anything pops up, just cancel out while you're doing it. Oh, we're good. We've opened it, and we're inside. Now, there's a camera right in front of us we've got to be careful of. Sometimes the camera here as well, which there is. We want to get into that door right in front of us there. So, let's wait for this camera to spin around. We're heading to the help desk. There we go. And now there's a guard down here that will, should have a blue key card on him. If you want to use this law, you can do. It's just right in front of us there. We need to get the key card off of his back pocket. Now, I think the key card... We're getting two key cards on this mission. There's a blue and a red one. I think they can switch. One guard on this floor will have a key card and one on the floor up above. We're going to need both of them anyway. i just seen that this one is the blue one. This gets you into the security office. It's going to um, basically make all the cameras not a risk so now he's moving that way we don't need to use the law we're gonna follow him just minding that camera to the left there he'll stop at the end of this corridor here and we can just take that key card off of him and now we've got that we want to move up a level so we're gonna go to the next floor now and get uh, these cameras deactivated be very careful again this cameras to be careful of the civilians aren't that much of an issue right now there's that guy there as well he's got the red key card on him too so we're gonna snap that off of him when we can going to wait for him to make his rotation now while watching that camera actually see him through this window which makes it easy and he's moved so now he's moved i'm going to follow him and he is going to stop again there's another camera behind me which we're just going to try and dodge i'm not too sure which way he faces here so we might just wait a second yeah i think if we go on this back wall oh there's a camera there we're gonna to have to wait for him to move again Okay, so that camera we also got to wait for. There we go. Let's keep on following this around. This is going to take us to the security room anyway to deal with that. He's in a nice position for me to nab that red card right now. Just make sure no civilians are looking at you when you do this. Otherwise, they'll tell on you. And now we've got the red card as well. We're just going to wait for him to move past this door in front of us. You can just see the blue card there on the door. We've got the guard and we've got the camera ahead of us to deal with. 
So wait for the guard to make one more movement and then we'll get into the security office. There you go. He's going now. I just want the camera to turn the other direction. As soon as it does, we'll make a move. There we go. Now there is going to be a guard in this room. So once we've used the blue key card to get inside, let's be careful. You're going to want to put your mask on. Oh yeah. And we just want to take out this guard. That guard's going to be taken out now. He was watching all the camera footage. It means the cameras are now not going to spot you because there's no one watching them. Okay. We do need to deal with that radio, uh, though. Make sure yeah. you do that. We've got three radio calls right. left that we can deal with. And we already have the red key card. I just got spotted by a civilian. Any civilians that do spot you, you've got to deal with. Just hit them to the ground. Get them in a safe spot. And tie them. We got lucky there. Now if any more got alerted there, we probably would have had to take out the guard that's walking around. And we'd have had to deal with all the civilians. So we got lucky. Now we have both cards. So we've done the security room. We, go and need, we need to go and find the red key card room. Now if you try the roof first... This is where it can spawn, and it's the easier one if it does, which it has done. So we're going to use the red key card on this, and inside here we want to interact with the computer. If it's not here, it's going to be on the floor below where we just were. It's a little bit more tricky then, because you've got the guards walking around and that. We're going to you have to deal with them anyway at some point. But this one's just easier. Once it's 100%, you hit on enter, and you activate this controller here, and it'll give you a symbol. That white... Uh, circle of a line through it is our symbol for this mission that will change so you take note on whatever symbol you're given and then we head back inside now we want to go all the way downstairs again just being very careful of any civilians or any guards that may see you and there's still a guard on this floor that we are going to want to take care of so i'm just going to have a quick look for him now he's down there so that's a perfect position actually we're just going to kill him there on the spot we're going to deal with the radio call when it comes. Everything all right over what? There? What do you want? <laughs> Sorry about that. Need to stop mainlining caffeine. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then we're going to hide the body in this room next to us. There will be a civilian walking around as well, which I kind of want to deal with now. We'll keep an eye out for him. Uh, but anyway, now we've done that, we're just going to open this hatch on the door. I'm remembering that symbol from earlier. We're flicking the switch with the symbol that we had, which is the white circle with a line through it for us. And you're going to be instructed to go and find the executive. And here's the vault. We need the executive now to do the eye scan. And you'll just notice there, there's still guards and civilians the other side of this room here that can spot you. So be very careful. You'll find the civilian that you need in the manager's office. So we're going to go and find the manager's office now. I think it's always... Oh, there is the guy that's walking around randomly. Oh, okay. He is always in this manager's office here. I don't think this room changes. But what we're going to want to do is just deal with this guy. It's kind of in an awkward position. Be very careful of the civilians in that room there as well. And we're going to lockpick the manager's office and get inside. And then once we're inside, I'm just going to take him hostage. Oh, and there's another civilian. It's the guy walking around. We want to deal with him anyway. Tie his hands up. Okay, that should be good now. There should be no one else walking around. Let me go. You'll notice things you can search as well. When you search an item, it gives you an optional sort of objective to find like a code for one of the lockboxes in the vault. You don't really need to do that because you can just open them all anyway and get the item that's inside of there. So don't worry too much about that. Well, with this guy now at the manager's office, we're going to head back to the vault and be very careful. We've got civilians in there. We've got guards in there. And we just don't want them to spot us while we're doing this. We're going to throw him against the eye scanner. As soon as he's done with that, we're going to knock him back out. There should be a code on the manager's and he computer. just Go spotted again. us. It was a civilian though, which means he's going to run straight to us to see what's going on. Nice and easy to deal with. Knock him out and tie him up. You'll see there's plenty of room for error here, you know. 
We did leave that other guy in here, though. We want to go back and get him. Hey, what are you doing? We'll throw him in this room here and tie him to the ground as well. I guess the only other risk at this point now is the guys in that room there. They spot you, you're going to have to go in there, knock them all out and tie them all up. Now we've done that, we want to head back to the manager's room now and we want to interact with the computer. This is going to give us some codes. Four codes, in fact, they'll be added to the top left and, uh, sorry, top left corner of your screen. Head back to the vault now. You just need to work out which code that is. You just do that by aiming at the keypad. Now be very careful of that guard out there. Do not want to get spotted by him at this point. So the numbers 1-4 have been used. So if we look at the top left of the screen, 1-4-1-4 will be the code. Hit enter there. Now we can open the vault door. And this is where you want two people. Now we're in the vault. We're very safe while we're in here, by the way. Um, but when we open this door here, there's traps on every single pack of cash. As a solo player, you're not going to be able to get all of them. So just get as many as you can. But as a two, you do have time to get all of them. We're just going to run straight ahead and do the one straight ahead. It'll probably be much quicker at this. Hopefully get six of them. Oh, got five of them. Now, even though we've uh, ruined a few of them there, we'll pick up all the loot. Uh, we can still collect them and take them out to the van because they are still worth a little bit of cash. But while you're here as well, you want to open all of these as well to get the maximum reward. There's loads of these. I'm not going to show you while I do all of this. Uh, we'll skip it. But that item I was on about earlier, where you do search for that code for the lockbox in the safe, you basically find some documents in one of these that give you some more XP, I guess. With all of these lock boxes open, you can see there's lots of little cash to get. But you do get two big bags of cash as well. So well worth opening. And there's the documents I was on about to complete that sort of side objective. And what I'm going to do now is just collect all the cash out of here and out of that vault there. And just place all the bags on the floor. So I have all my bags looted and ready to go. We're going to pick one of these up. And we're going to make our way out. Now, we can get this in two locations. The van is over there for me. There's a guard to deal with and some civilians that way. If it's in a different location, then there's no guards to deal with, I don't think. But there will be civilians. Just, just be careful on your exit. Now, I'm going to get this nicely set up now so that I've got no one to worry about when I get outside. And if I just make my way to the exit through this door here, this is where there's going to be two civilians... And one guard. So we've got to be very careful as we exit. And uh, we want to take out that guard there. But also the two civilians that are going to cause an issue are just here as well. So what we're going to quickly do with the guard facing that way. Is we're just going to knock these two out. Tie them up. And we still got two radio calls left. So we're going to take out this guard now. And uh, deal with his radio. Now, with them all taken care of, this should be nice and easy now to load up the van with all of your loot. But still be careful of any civilians that might spot you. And you do have one more radio call, providing you've not needed to use it, just in case. Right. So we should be okay just to run right... Oh, there is one more guard there. There we go. So I'm glad I had that extra one. I have to lockpick this very quickly to do that radio. You know what, Dispatch? We have some huge fucking rats in here. I've seen them. They look fucking pissed. I think we all need to get the fuck out, like, right fucking now. Mm, someone's been alerted inside. I think they've just heard what we're doing. This will just be a civilian, though. So we're just going to go and deal with that civilian. And there's another civilian on the way as well. Oh, shit. Okay. So we've killed what... We messed up at the end there, but we're fine. Now, what I would say is when you run out of radio calls, this is the guy from upstairs that we left. Um, don't answer that call. It just means that people are going to be on patrol, but we'll be absolutely fine at this point. And the outside is clear. It's good to show you there's so much room for error here, I guess. We really messed up at the end there, though. Uh, but now the van is ready to load. There's a few civilians about. There's no more guards that should bother us whatsoever. As long as we don't get spotted by the guard that is in that room there. 
which I think we're good. So it's just a case now of coming back to pick up your loot, your bags of money. Watching that guard in the main room. And then we can just keep on running out of this door and loading up the van. No more civilians out here should spot you. Outside should be absolutely clear. And there you go on the way back in here. You can see him walking around still, so be very careful. And just so you know, if you were to answer that last radio where we messed up without a radio call left, the alarms will instantly go off and you'll fail this stealthily. So make sure you don't do that. I'm going to skip this bit now and get the van fully loaded up. I've now got the final bag on me. All loot done and stealth, even though we got very lucky at the end there. And there you have it. We stole 10 bags of cash there, totaling $246,925 along with the loose cash. And that's how you do that heist stealthily. Given I did mess up majorly at the end there, we had to improvise. But as long as, you know, as long as you know there is some room for error, it's very easy to get the hang of that and just do it over and over if you want to. And that is it. That's how you do no time to waste on hard and normal on Payday 3. And I do aim to do it on overkill difficulty as well. As soon as I've unlocked more skills and skill points to spend. So I can form some sort of stealth build to make that easier. I'll cover other missions as well in this format. If you've enjoyed this video, there's a link down in the video description to my playlist for Payday 3. Go and check that out to watch some more videos now. And if you've enjoyed this one, please hit like and share to support it. Subscribe for more content. And until next time... Thank you for watching, stay safe and peace out.